Hello and welcome to this video on BigQuery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import data from one table into another table inside of BigQuery. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right at it. This is the code you can use in order to import data from one table into another table in BigQuery. So as you can see, this is an insert statement. And the precondition for using this code is that the two tables have to have pretty much the same fields or the same columns. So let's say you have a table called accounts and you have another table, not another data set, so to speak, in BigQuery that's also called accounts, which has the same field. Let's say you imported this accounts to table from Excel. And it just has more data sets for which belong to the accounts table and need to be added to the accounts table. This is how you can do it. You just have to write insert into and to enter your project name, your data set name, and then let's say your table's name is accounts. Then the next line of code is select A2, which is the alias for your new account table which uh, exists inside of a query which you've imported for example inside of a query dot star so you're importing everything from the new accounts to table from uh, the accounts to table obviously and then you do a left join on the accounts table this is the main table uh, which you want to import data into the reason you do a left join is you want only the data values which don't already exist in the accounts table to be inserted inside the accounts table. So you don't want to create duplication. That's why we're using a left join as opposed to a right join or an inner join. So you're left joining on the project name, data set name, and the accounts. So this is how you're doing a join here. You're doing a left join rather in order to retrieve the data which exists in the accounts to table which doesn't already exist in the accounts table. And this is a good way to avoid getting any duplicates. And you're doing the join in this case, let's say accounts has a customer number and accounts two has an account number. So that those are the primary keys you're using in order to do the join. And this is how it's done. And this is a very neat trick in, in scenario, especially when you have new data sets, which you want to add to your existing data sets without creating duplication and this is how it's done i hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful if yes make sure you give this video a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos